Women, what do you find the most confusing about men? Why some men don't go to the doctor or dentist, unless someone else makes the appointment for them. You know that meme, where a woman is thinking huh, he's probably thinking about other women and in actuality the guy is thinking the most random of things, yeah, that. All I learned from this thread is that women are confused by things most guys don't even think about lol. I'm a man. But something that confused my wife is when I suddenly take a deep breath for no reason, she's like are you okay? You sure? Anything you need to talk about? What's going on? And I just say nah I'm fine, think I just forgot to breathe and catching up. Men that are willing to pay a lot of money just for pictures of feet or bazookas when pee can be free. How the D in the balls are stored in the underwear. My girlfriend is still baffled at the fact that I can just turn off my brain and not think of anything. So many men I know pass off just this really chill vibe and they all seem to just be cool with each other, how the F do they do it? Today I effed up by telling the truth to my fiancé. I've been engaged for over a year and our wedding day is quickly approaching, the last few years has been hard on everyone, but especially her, losing five very close members of her family in a six-month span, I've been as supportive as possible and always done my best to help her emotionally. Since COVID and everything she's put on a good bit of weight and I'm less attracted to her because of it, which has impacted our S life, while I've also put on some weight, especially these last few months before the wedding I've been busting my arse with diet and exercise to get back into my high school shape so I'd be happy with my appearance, she's done none of this with me or independently and actively worked against my progress. The last few years my fiancé has thought it was weird that a male in his 20s would be less than ecstatic about intercourse. I always shrugged it off as I was tired from work, or some other excuse that was easier to digest. Tonight she confronted me more directly and I tried to do the same excuses but she wasn't having it this time, I eventually confessed that I wish she was in better shape and she's been crying non-stop for the last couple of hours, I wanted to go into our marriage with the attitude of, a painful truth is better than a comfortable lie but I'm not even sure the status of our wedding now, two weeks ago I effed my daughter's friend, genuinely feeling anxious every day. My daughter has a very pretty 21 year old friend, before all of this happened, I remember thinking to myself if I was younger, I'd totally date her, she's my type, blonde, tall, cute face, kind etc. She's always been very nice to me, but suddenly she actually started teasing me, she started calling me daddy over text, she said your daughter is so lucky, I wish you were my daddy, she texted me at night to ask me a question, it was an excuse, of course, I replied to the question, but she kept the conversation going, she said I'm in bed right now but can't sleep, honestly I'd totally want a hug. To keep it short, I couldn't keep it in my pants. I'm really not an excited dude drooling over young girls, my daughter has 7-8 to eight close friends I see regularly. She's the only one I find pretty, because she really is pretty, and I simply couldn't resist, I'm divorced, I started seeing someone else two months ago, but I wouldn't call that cheating since we aren't clearly a couple yet. I'm just anxious because I wouldn't want my daughter to find out, yesterday she suddenly said we need to talk and it scared the heck out of me, basically every time I see her I'm like I hope she hasn't found out, I hope she hasn't found out, I hope she hasn't found out, would you be in a sesless relationship? What circumstance would you find acceptable for this? I am happily married to my good lady for decades and decades, there are times when it has been sesless for whatever reason but never has it been loveless, I wouldn't have lasted two days in a loveless relationship. I'm in one now, my husband had a stroke, no intercourse is not the big problem for either one of us. Yes, I would just self-pleasure a lot, my girlfriend is my best friend, I love her so much, I'll never leave her astray, if for some reason she couldn't it wouldn't bother me, but we're slowing down a bit anyway, and we're couch potatoes, we just get a giant TV and watch movies and be happy in each other's company, she was in an abusive relationship for years, and I was in an emotionally abusive and sesless marriage for years, I found my kindred spirit, and she's amazing, and I'm happy. I'm dating a man who got diagnosed with prostate cancer a year or so into our relationship, prostate had to come out and it's a hit or miss whether or not sensual function comes back, in his case, it was a miss. He wanted me to move on because he got very depressed over it, he's so pleasant and a real decent human being so I stayed with him, who would abandon someone due to a health crisis. Unfortunately he got bladder cancer next so this is another hurdle to go over. You play the cards you are dealt, we are together in this, what do you find annoying is f. When skin tears near your fingernail and that teeny tiny wound hurts way more than it should. When mosquitoes fly by your ears. People who leave the effing shopping carts in middle of the effing aisle, also people who leave shopping carts in the middle of a parking spot. When people don't clean up after themselves. People that have no awareness of space, like, if someone stands too close to me, or bumps into me or stands in the middle of the path when I'm trying to walk. People who have speakerphone conversations in public, F off. Habitual litterers. A person's inability to say sorry. TikTok narrations. People who are a-holes to somebody when they're alive, bullying them, and then once they commit self-destruction they're all like I wish I was his friend or he was such a nice person being fake arse people. People that can dish it but can't take it, I work with a dude like this and it's terrible. Anyone who tries to talk to me when I have headphones in. 